टू fact tables connected to multiple dimension table your date of birth your address uh, your department or uh, your uh, admission number all these informations are you we use the dimension data to derive some data which is of our interest then what is dimension and what is fact hello techies welcome back to the channel i upload videos every thursday at 7 pm on technical topics and mostly related to testing topics so please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned today i'm going to speak about star schema and snowflake schema what is star schema and what is snowflake schema and we will understand all the things in detail so let's go to the screen and let's get started So we are going to learn about star schema and snowflake schema. So before we get started with star schema and snowflake schema, you should know some of the basic terminologies. So let's go to the screen and understand all the terminologies in detail, and then we will understand what is star schema and snowflake schema. So first of all, we will need to understand what is dimension, because star schema and snowflake schema is designed with dimension table and fact table. So let's understand even before understanding what is dimension table and fact table, we should understand what is dimension and what is fact. so let's understand what is dimension so dimension a dimension is a collection of reference information about a measurable event <laughs> i know you did you did understand much about from the statement so let's read the second statement and then i'll make you understand both the statements so is a descriptive or a detailed data which describes the key so basically uh, in a table there might be uh, two types of data there can be a uh, data which is very detailed okay Uh, so that kind of a data which is detail information so that data is is termed as dimension data okay so for example your name your full name okay first name and last name that can be termed as dimension data or uh, your date of birth your address uh, your department or uh, your uh, admission number all these informations are dimension data so to make it simple dimension is basically a detail data so what is fact fact it is a summarized data with numeric values which is derived from dimension data so okay so don't worry if you are not able to understand what is dimension and fact as we go further it it will become clear can have characters but not character set so basically the fact is a summarized data or aggregated data which is derived from the uh, dimension data and uh, a fact can be a character but cannot be a character set when i say character set basically it cannot be a full name your name it cannot be like my name is krishna so it cannot be krishna and krishna kayaking it cannot be like that it can be k see example i'm just saying so mostly when you want to have something like yes and no so y and n can be a just character it cannot be character set so a fact can be a data like that so don't worry if you are not able to understand what is dimension and fact as we go into dimension table and dimension fact table so then things will get clear so don't get uh, tensed after listening to all this is getting getting very heavy so don't worry i will make things clear just to wait till the end of the video what is dimension table a dimension table which contains the dimension data table that contains a detailed data see for example employee table employee table has employee data so that is a detailed data it can be the employee id employee name department department id and uh, salary uh, commission any kind of data that defines in detail if you write address address in detail like you have the street street number you have the street you have city and you have pin code you have the state so that is in detail so it's a dimension data so if there is dimension data in a table that is that table can be called as dimension table okay so example you can say employee data or customer data patient data so whatever uh, basically whatever project you might be working on in whatever domain everything has detailed data and summarized data so basically fact table so in a data warehouse project is mostly consists of dimension table and fact table okay so before you understand dimension and fact table that's why i made you understand what is dimension and fact so even if you take banking projects the banking data so you know, current account saving account credit cards they have issued all this data is in detailed form now let's go to what is fact table a fact table is a table that contains measures of interest or table which contains factual or summarized data so basically measure of interest as in uh, so basically from the dimension table you we use the dimension data to derive some data 
which is of our interest so say for example i have a retail shop so i get the aggregated what is the sales for the day daily sales or monthly sales what is my total revenue for this month so detailed data is there each each record okay so if i take dmart each record each record this person bought so many item this person bought so many item of 2000 rupees 5000 rupees 10000 rupees and at the end of the day i calculate the whole information so i made a business of totally 50000 so that is my daily sales so similarly we can calculate monthly sales or from banking perspective what are the total number of loan accounts what are the total number of current accounts opened in this month what are the total number of saving account opened this month what are the total value that is added to the bank by saving account or current account what is the total balance of that particular branch of the bank or that particular city how much is the total value of that bank okay so from health healthcare perspective what are the total number of patients who visited today uh, total number of patients who were admitted last month so all these are factual data which is derived from detailed data correct dt data might be having from uh, healthcare perspective detailed data in my hospital there were total visitors on this day so many visitors on this day to- so many got admitted so many got operated so all these information i have so from this information for the last month what i can do i can derive my report or a derive a table like on so and so on october month so many visited on october month so many were admitted on october month so many were operated so all these are factual data it's only number on this month this this many patients on this month this many patients so all these are factual data right so in this when this factual data or summarized data are kept in a table that table is called as fact table and where detailed data is kept that is called as dimension table your understanding on dimension table and fact table is very important to understand what is star schema and snowflake schema so that's why if you have not understand please watch the video again from the starting and then come to star schema okay that will help you understand what is star schema and snowflake schema and this is for sure is a 100% question for every etl data warehouse bi tester what is star schema what is snowflake schema 100% every interviewer will ask somewhere or the other they will ask it might be somewhere sometimes connected to the project or sometimes explicitly they will ask what is dimension what is fact what is factable dimension table and how many factable and dimension table you have worked on questions may something like this may come always going on what is star schema let's understand the definition then i'll show you by diagram how star schema and snowflake schema so stay tuned in this video all your concepts will be clear a star schema contains a central located fact table which is connected with many or multiple dimension table so you understand what is dimension table detailed table let's we'll make it simple detailed table so this detailed table is surrounded so basically one fact table factual factual data is there so one summarized data is there that summarized data is connected to multiple dimension table okay multiple dimension table or multiple detail table okay so that makes it looks like a star so that's why you call it as star schema is so hold on i will draw diagram and then show you so to make things clear okay so what is star schema a central located fact table connected to multiple dimension table is called as star schema there is something called as complex star schema mostly you will work with complex star schema but don't get hesitant just because you see the word complex you get uh, anxiety <laughs> that i can't understand it's very simple i'll just make you understand okay it contains central located two or more fact table which is connected with multiple dimension table so basically the, the same star schema the same star schema now there was only one fact table in the star schema now we have two or more fact tables connected to multiple dimension table i'll just make you understand with diagram don't worry two or more fact table connected to multiple dimension table is called as complex star schema so stay in this video till the end then you will understand in detail i will draw the diagrams and show you so it is an extension of star schema snowflake schema is nothing but it's an extension of star schema where the dimension table or the star schema is normalized in multiple table so just to make it simple the second part where the dimension table in star schema is normalized in multiple table so that is like a star schema where the dimension tables are connected the dimension table is connected to other dimension tables 
or the dimension table is getting data from other dimension table that is called as snowflake schema now let's go to the uh, screen and let's let me draw the diagram then things will be clear to you so let me tell you about what is star schema okay so there is a fact table fact table connected to dimension table 1 dimension table 2 dimension table 3 dimension table 4 or it can be even more okay so this looks like a star or maybe let me draw it one here dimension table 5 now it looks like a star correct so that's why we called it as a star schema okay there is one fact table which is connected to multiple dimension table that is termed as a star schema now let me make you understand what is complex star schema okay there is one fact table fact 1 fact 2 and then this is connected to multiple dimension table dimension table 1 dimension table 2 dimension table 3 dimension table 4 5 dimension table 6 i'm just taking example it can be more or it can be less okay so now this is connected something like this or even or it is connected something like this or it d1 d1 can be connected to f2 so something like this two fact tables connected to multiple dimension table that is called as complex star schema it can be two or even more fact tables so it makes it complex star schema it is complex star schema So I would request you to make note of all the details that I'm explaining via diagram also and in the presentation. So please make note of all the information and then try to go through it again. That will make you help you understand and revise the topic. Okay, please sit with a pen and paper and please note down all the details that I'm explaining. So this is complex star schema. Let's understand what is a snowflake schema. So as I explained to you what is star schema. So there is one fact table connected to multiple dimension table. Okay. So I'm just taking four dimension tables and one fact table. So now this fact table is connected to dimension table. Now this is what? This is star schema. So snowflake schema is nothing but star schema and this dimension table is connected to other dimension table. Or even even this can be or this can be anything so all this makes it as what snowflake schema i hope now things are clear what is star schema and what is snowflake schema okay so most of the projects are in uh, star schema and some of the projects are in snowflake schema complicated projects like banking projects and healthcare projects those projects can be in snowflake schema but most of the time uh, the projects are in star schema now uh, since you have watched the video fully i think i would have cleared all your doubts in case you have you still have any doubts with regards to what is star schema and snowflake schema please put it down in the comment section i will try to answer your questions i will make sure uh, all your doubts are cleared uh, so in case you are not able to understand it fully please watch the video again it will help you understand and please sit with a pen and paper so that you make note of all the details of what is a fact what is a dimension what is a fact table what is a dimension table and what is star schema and what is snowflake schema so this will help you understand i have written an article about what is uh, star schema and snowflake schema whatever you saw in the presentation are there in that article uh, the link of the article is in the description box please read it and keep it for your reference and uh, i'll be coming up with one more live session of maybe live session 3.0 uh, all uh, registration details are there uh, in the descriptions so please register yourself uh, by filling some basic details of i'll send the link via email for you to join the live session so it will be uh, limited for uh, maybe around nine or ten people so please register yourself and um, join the live session you can ask any questions that you want and i will try my best to answer and uh, uh, if you have not seen my videos on live sessions live session 1.1 and uh, live session 2.0 please watch that video it is very much informative and all 
the testing uh, aspirants who are watching this video uh, they have benefited a lot by I, by my experience and whatever i have seen and whatever i have gone through so that have helped them to understand what is uh, very good uh, what decision they should make so please watch those videos if you want to know what happens in the live uh, session so some part is edited uh, i know um, everything cannot be posted on social media so please register yourself for the live session and uh, see you next week on thursday 7 pm uh, so thank you for watching please, if you liked the video and if you understood what is start schema and snowflake schema please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends whoever uh, is interested in learning testing and want to get into etl data warehouse or want to get into any of the data concepts or any of the data roles uh, see you next week on thursday at 7 pm thank you for watching bye bye